Hi guys, and welcome back to another plot review. So what have we got today? We've actually got a pretty cool plot. This is actually on the Slash Warp T, which is the medium-sized plot. And this is actually a plot by Bombast Kuzo. This is a dark or night elf town. So this is actually called, or the town is called um, Vitruhat. Vitruhat, or Hat. Uh, it's got two A's, at least in the foreign part of it. There is a little story as well. And it's also done this like weird pixely art thing. Which is cool and weird at the same time. <laughs> it's different. It actually does kind of like, you know, detail it. But I think it would have been nice with, you know, a border and all that kind of stuff. Like maybe use a couple more blocks on it. But pretty cool. Um, also, there is a shout out down here to, there we go. Quick thanks to Pocket Phoenix for helping him with the dragon. So um, there is a dragon. And um, yeah, there's a mana portal over here. I don't know where this, what is this? That actually looks really cool. Look at this. That's a mana portal. Hmm. Okay. So, I don't know. So, maybe that just means we have to fly up. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it is. Um, I'm going to start from the top, I think. And also, there's a story. So, I might actually go... I'll fly up here. Let's fly up here. We'll have a look at... Or, I'll just have this in the background while reading it or, or something. Let's try and get a nice little view. That'll do. So, what we've got... Actually, that's not really good. I want the dragon in the background. No way to actually get that dragon in the background, is there? <laughs> no matter what, it will just block it out. Right, let's try it like this. Okay. Once a proud race of fire elves has now made their homes in the caves of Kamos after being punished by their dragon gods for betraying their high elven kin 200 years ago. They have turned their hatred against the gods and their lost ki long lost kin and they started to practice their skills in stealth, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and dark magic. Hence their villainous nickname, Dark Elves. They once walked, and they once walked the swamplands of Dimoria, now called Ashlands, due to their former dragon gods burning their land and exiling, exiling them to the depths below. Dark Elves are stealthy, vile, and paranoid race ever since they made an easy alliance with their cave neighbours, the dwarves, who in exchange for their precious mana crystals, offered them to help against dweller dragon attacks. One of the most noticeable and most crime-rated cities of the Camel's Caves is Vitruhat. With its edgy and paranoid kind, Zamos, kind Zamos, uh, paranoid kind Zamos, sorry I'm getting confused guys, and its harsh treatment to their captives, which is okay once you see how harsh their former upper lands are. Watch your back, or their dagger might. So, it's not too bad. Here's an actually English, so some of it is a bit like, me, but it's actually fine. Anyway, so that's a kind of backstory. So, obviously, they were normal elves, and then the dragon gods have gone, or well, they've, they've pissed them off somewhat for some reason. And yeah, annoyed them. But look at that. There we go. That's a pretty cool dragon with its ripped wings. So using a ton of materials in this. Look at that. So like coal and using black wool and using um even using obsidian actually. That looks really cool. Obsidian actually works really well on this. I'm gonna clear that down. I want to keep that book though. Um also need to grab that. So I mean look at that. A dragon. Whoa. Powerful. And he's like really annoyed and angry. And look, he's even got love rise. I mean, you've, if you've annoyed somebody that has lava eyes, I think you're in trouble. Um, what we also have here is, like, a volcano. So, um, Barbastacuso has actually made a volcano that's erupted. So maybe that's because of the fire that he set onto these lands. And that there's a geyser. This, I thought, was just awesome. There's actually a geyser-type thing here. Or geyser. Geyser or geyser? <laughs> One of them. There's all, like, the burnt trees. Um, there's, like, things like this which have got weird eyes. I don't understand this bit. But I'm guessing it's some like weird magical thing. <laughs> but <laughs> it's the monster zinc eyes. I can uh, that's all I can see from that. Um, and, like spiders. So obviously, their land has gone bad. Like look, you can see here there used to be somebody here. This was like a you know somewhere where they worship maybe, and then it's all just been destroyed. Um, I don't know what that is. It's some sort of bones of something. Because I can just see that eye, and I can see horns and things. So maybe it's a drag. Maybe they did take down one of the dragon things. And look, this brain's spilled out. So maybe they did actually take down one of them. Maybe they're properly like fighting the war, and they're actually 
be able to do something about it. Anyway, it's got lots of like stuff around everywhere. Banners. Now there is like a little house here. So this is one of the mushroom houses. So it's also got some like little gardens out there. It's got some of the never wart. Um, people don't use this enough, never wart. I think they should. Because it has a little bit of colour and it's a bit different. It, like looks some weird apothecary type things. So there we go. Let's have a look in here. So this is one of the houses. So maybe this is one of the people that isn't doomed by the gods. You know. There we go. It's got a little house inside there. I don't think we can get up any higher actually. But you can kind of see up there. What goes up there then? So I want to know. I wish I could destroy I don't want to destroy it. Just in case. But that seems to go up to... Oh, it just goes up to that little top bit there. So it's got like a little little thing on that bit. Uh, and that has some stairs that go up to here. Which... That's actually wicked. That's a telescope. I'm so using that. Bombastic Uso. I'm so using that in Mystic Pines. Because that is really cool. It's so simple. But it actually works. That's brilliant. Wicked. So they've got a telescope up there. So maybe this is one person that's actually survived. They've got a map as well. So maybe they're doing like a star map or something. They're doing like lots of weird magic and and stuff. But look at that. Inside a mushroom. I love mushroom houses. They're just cool. <laughs> right, so that's what we've got there. Now, what we actually have underneath, there's the caves. So you can see why this plot is so high up in into it. Actually, this is really cool as well. This, this I felt, thought was just wicked. So you can actually see it like where it's erupted. So you've got the pyroclastic flow and everything. Uh, coming out there. You kind of want to... What would have actually happened is the lava uh, or magma would have got to here. It would have blown the top of the mountain off with pressure and that's what you get the uh, big smoke. So it's not quite accurate if you're thinking of it that way, but it still kind of works, doesn't it? Right, so in here we have this crazy cave. We've got like a big dragon thing that's like attached. So maybe they used to... Um, you know, they could have... That looks like you Legolas. <laughs> Brilliant. Um... Maybe they used, you know, they used to worship the gods. Maybe this cave was actually built back then. Um, and then we actually have this bit up here. Right, let's just grab a light. There we go. So up here we got the weird magical teleporty thing. It doesn't magical teleport. It's actually a bowling ball, isn't it? So maybe that's what he means by them. Like they're supposed to be used in that way. I think they are. Okay. Anyway, where do I start though? That's the thing. This this plot's really difficult to figure out where you actually start from. So maybe let's start from this side, okay? So we've got like this style. So it's a very unique style, this. So here we go, we've got in here, they've got um, an actual you know, crossbow right at this entrance. They've also got some, you know, weapons type storage in here. Oops, there we go, if I jump through. So this is all really, really tight and really compacted in. Look at that. There we go, and that goes up to here, where they can walk the wall. There we go, so you've got the wall up here. And also a weird little cave, so that cave goes off in one. Goes down to this bit. So it escapes away. So that's kind of interesting as well, actually, isn't it? There we go. Anyway, let's go down into here. So this is the actual um, where the like town, I guess, starts the town or city. Um, and down here, what do we have? Some like really dark stuff. There we go. We got like a big. Maybe this is the dwarves. Maybe this is like part of the dwarven style that started to creep in. We've got this house is on fire, which is really not good. That's really cool though. So we got the. Puffer carry, but I like that actually. How the the lettering's gone. Puffer carry, so let's go in there. Oh, it's just completely on fire. I can't see anything. I'm falling into a pit now. I need to do that. That's why. So the door's falling down. So that's on fire. We've got Nightshade in. It's got some beers. Look at this. Really cool. There we go. Nice little inn. And what's upstairs? Have we got some bedrooms? Or have, I don't know. We've got like a big gambling den type thing. Big gambling den type thing here. The door's been kicked down, I'm guessing. And we got just, you know, like a bedroom in here. So, they're all quite rough, I think. That's that's the idea. They're all a bit rough. They're all a bit dark and evil. And I, don't really care. I think I've already been that way. Yeah, I've been on that way. So, okay, that's what we've got there. We've also got another one on fire. So this one's just started to get on fire. That's not good. So, that's not good news for the inn. Uh, over here, this could be like a dwarven place. Or is this... This, this is very evil. <laughs> It's like some blood pits, <laughs> so I guess got some blood down there. Maybe this is where they fight. Is this where they fight? Is this like a fighting pit, maybe? Um, no, I wouldn't have thought so. It could have been. It could actually be a fighting pit. Actually, why don't we think of that? Redstone ore, we never use it for anything else, but that actually works for this, so. Wicked. There we go, it's got that. And also using the prismarine, which. Well, lapis lazuli, yeah, that's prismarine, isn't it? That new block that was added, that looks really good in here. That's a really good mix. 
So maybe this is actually where they fight. They, they looks like they could be fighting something. They've got uh, a person on the floor with his legs off. And that goes up to here. That's the chain system there. Right, let's just get in this bit. And back here. Oh, so that goes into street. So there we go. That's a minotaur. That's a pretty cool minotaur. So maybe that is. Maybe this is the fighting pits. Let's have a look. That's the minotaur pits. Yes, so it is. Shrine of Minos. So yeah, it's minotaur. Wish to die. Do you want to die, fool? So there we go. Because we get this. I don't know why they're British. Uh, got some like suit of armor. So this is all where they all like fight and stuff. Okay, we get that. I actually didn't need to, to turn that bit on then. Switch that back. So let's have a look down here and actually go for a little wander through the caves because it's quite deep. Then this is probably where they they actually come out of. There you go. So we got this guy here. That's the champion, obviously. Um, is that where they like get? Do they get chained up or something? Possibly could be chained up. It's quite an interesting idea with the actual um, chains. There we go. So we've got that there. So maybe like they they just like get come into fight to train. It's pretty cool. There we go. So we've got that there. So that's just like that little section there. I mean, I, I like the on fire houses. They're really unique. And then over here, got like a little room that goes into glass. Someone doesn't exist. <laughs> that's probably right on the edge of the plot though. So right up behind it. We still got some detail in here. I think you could have maybe done with a little bit more detail with just you know bits of like vines and things coming down maybe maybe using the um, mushroom biome because it gets like these type of leaves doesn't it uh, let's have a look mushroom islands yeah so yeah using those on the sides and things that would have been quite cool but there we go we get that uh, we got some like you know, skinning things here we got a nice little stool um, more stools over here just landing like books and things and then this goes around to whoa look at this place that's just the back entrance. The stairs in this house are really badly placed. <laughs> no, that's fine, I think. It just just looks like windows, to be honest. So, it works. So we've got like a weird... I don't know what this is, but... It's a something... Oh, okay, that's what it meant, means, maybe. That you have to jump to get up there, which is a bit annoying. Ah. And that goes up to here. There's some more books, and then... You can keep on going? Can you keep... Yeah, I think you can keep on going. Then we're going up to here. And this has just got like a weird like stands around it. So that might be a biome issue there, possibly. Oh. Damn it. Right, can we go around this side? Actually get out. No, we can't. I think we'll no matter what we'll hit our heads. So that's okay. There we go. But I did see one of those teleporty things. Not those ones there. So there we go, there's a teleporty thing. I know it doesn't actually teleport you, but I think you're you're supposed to actually jump up. So eh. Practical wise, I don't think it really works. I think what they said there. Yeah, so it needs to improve the stairs here. So there's a couple of comments around as well, so I need to definitely clear those off. Usually before a few. But there we go. What have we got here? So those are the pits. And we've also got these purple uh crystals that come through, which look really good. There we go. What have we got over this one? Another room. Actually using the stairs or the the doors behind that actually looks really cool. Ah, it's a block thing, it's a little house there. So this has got a a couple of little stores and stuff, so warm meals. And I'll try and show you guys this house if I can <laughs> get untangled. There you go, you can see the house there now. So it's like a, quite a quite an elvish design. Uh, but then like using the darker colours like the purples and things, so it looks pretty cool. Got a small well in there. Pretty simple. And all that light. Uh selling eggs or something. Or, or something. Or birds. There you go, got birds for sale there. So captured some this bit goes to up to here, which goes to the guard. Okay, so that's the other wall. So okay, look at that. Got like quite spiky. And quite grimacing. Got lots of faces and things. And mainly like spiky. Okay. And then that goes up to this bit here. This one looks like quite a learned person. Yeah, and that. And I got some like birds and things. Got quite a nice like little house. I like that one. That one feels very colourful and very magic-y. So there we go. That's the majority of the houses. we also got, you know, stools. War Academy. Sign up. Cool. Uh, lots of stools around, which is good. Lots of stuff. And some more of this blood. Uh, never bought stuff in the corners. That's pretty cool. Uh, what have we also got around here? What is that? Ah, oh, it's just a little board. Now this goes up to here. Now is there anything else? Oh yeah, a little garden. Pumpkins. That goes up to up to here. 
I have to walk up it this time. That goes to like the second level, I guess you would call it. Uh, we got another tree. I really like these trees with the color, especially with the colors. Um, we got those. And if we go to here, yeah, another little bedroom. Or well, lots, actually, lots of beds in here. Tons and tons. And what was that there? I had to make it look like it goes on in the cave because you run out of space. That's fine. That does happen. There you go. And keep on going up. There we go. And this gets to. So it's here. And then this goes to this place with another telescopy type thing. But I don't know what they'll be able to see. And then this goes right to the top. So it's like a storage room. Because, of course, it's so <laughs> expansive in this bit. I'm just going to do the easy way and just do that. Because um, it's quite, you know, like the towers are really thin on these bits. I think I actually need like stronger light for this. Uh, this walk through. There we go. That might work a bit better. So yeah, we get all that. There's lots of detail on the sides as well. There's quite a bit of detail. Different types of rock. So what have we got on this bit? And maybe even go, go one more with the glowstone. <laughs> I guess it's really bright. Because um, different brightness do different things in it. So we've got this really cool dragon. I love this dragon. This is awesome. Uh, and it got got like things hanging. Obviously we've got Legolas hanging. We've got a dead Legolas hanging. Um, that kind of stuff. So this one, there we go, goes up to there. Let's, let's walk up it. See, that's too bright now, isn't it? That's the annoying thing. Right. Let's grab just a normal one for that. There we go. See the light difference uh, there. And then that would go into somewhere else. I'm guessing that's the edge of the... But we've got another house. There we go. Let's check out this house. Oops. There you go. Cool. And then that goes up to here. There go. That's got another floor. That's a pretty good floor. I like that. Right, let's jump down here. So it's some sort of shop. Oh, I like the back as well. Okay. So it's a shop on the front. Uh, back bit's there. And it's also got like a little fence across there. That's really cool. It works. There we go. So we got that. Now this goes around. Where does this go to? Yeah. They always look a little bit spammy. Yeah, they do. They look a little bit too random, I think. I think that's probably what it means by spammy. I do agree. So there's a couple of comments that need to be actioned, definitely. Um, there we go. We've got that. Now, how do we get up to top bit? Now, that's using, like, um, clay as well. So how do we get up to here? Maybe we'll figure it out when we get... Oh, just found this blob. I just wiped into this blob. What? How do we get to here? What is this? So we've got, like, a weird gate thing. Oh, we'll go through there. Why not? So this goes to a weird pike room, <laughs> like spike ball room. Okay, that's cool. That's kind of cool. Right, so this this I love. It's really cool. Ah, so that's like it's supposed to be a secret type thing. But I, I went the wrong way. Whoops. Um, so there we go. We've got like a hall. Maybe we are supposed to see this in another different light, I guess. Let's go through here. So that would be... Okay, because so this will be it. So maybe this is like where they sacrifice people. There's the teleporty thing. And that teleporty thing was down... Possibly down there. So there's one there that you jump up to there. You would then jump up somehow to here. I don't know. It, it can be something. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Okay, let's got that. Let's go into here. So this room here. So we go into a room. We then go into bigger rooms. It's like where they got a feast. Uh, they got a fire pit here with, you know, they letting a bit of the fire through for a pig. Um, nice table and everything. Got a couple of, like, guards or, or you know, suits of armor. Uh, that kind of stuff. We've got a big throne. So this is where the evil elf lord, elf lord lives. Yeah. There we go. I've got a room in the back here with a nice balcony. It's definitely where the, the lord or something similar in elf land lives. <laughs> So it's been an Elfland, definitely. So where does this go to? Is this going to be a really long staircase? If so, I'm going to just regret it completely. Oh, so that goes into a money room. Whoa, look at that. So they've got quite a lot of wealth, really, haven't they? They've accumulated a lot. But they, if they're trading for with the dwarves, they could actually get quite a bit from there. And it goes to there. That's the bathroom. Okay, so that's just down there. So that actually doesn't join up. I, I think it would have been nice if it joined up. Look, a cage. Some stuff in it. So I don't know if it actually does. Can we actually get to the bottom floor from this place? I'm not sure if we can or not. Might just be that I haven't found it yet. There we go. So in here, we've got the Lord's Chamber. So it's a big bed. That's a pretty cool bed. And the Dragon Slayer. Wicked. There we go. And because he's done secret stuff in paintings, I'm now trying to jump through them. That works really well, actually, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. 
At least we can jump down there. There you go, that's good. But, I don't know, what do you guys think about the plot? Um, so if you guys could paste, post your comments as well. And you like criticisms, your, your, what you think is good, what you think is bad, what you think could be improved, how could it be improved, all of that kind of stuff that you guys do really, really well at. Uh, one of the things I do like are these mushrooms and the mix of materials is pretty crazy and it's all like purpley blue. That's that's kind of what it feels like. Uh, I actually missed out this piece. What the hell is this? So that's another entrance. That's the main door as well there. We've got another uh, defense on it. So maybe this goes on a little bit more into different kingdom or something maybe so that's there that's just that's just sticking out that's weird how do you get there though I do like these though and how they're lit up yeah there's another house actually using the default egg there looks really good so there we go um yeah tell me what you guys think if you guys want to check it out feel free to do so also this plot review was actually requested on the forum so if you guys want to actually request your own uh, plots if they're completely complete um, then feel free to do so and just request on the forums. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. Go and check it out for yourselves. Uh, but big ups to Bombastikuso who created this plot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.